absolutely legitimately qualified to be president, Jim Webb, he was the only candidate initially qualified to be president of the United States of America, former Secretary of the Navy, actually quite conservative on board his language and culture. They threw him off the stage, and they left a spritzing commie and uh, the uh, email server lady. 855-407-282 is the phone number you're invited, uh, invited to call. We have other topics. I know you're bored already. The minute I did taxes, the dial got turned. My eyes shut down on it. I don't even have certain things in radio. If you do, you can almost tell the audience is leaving you. They were switching over to other music and uh, other blah, 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 blah. accounting issues, no good. Tax issues, no good. There's no juice in it. So maybe I'll tell you a personal story in the next hour, which is kind of sad. I was actually weeping in my bed at 3 in the morning. It's about my dog, Teddy. Yep, we got bad news last night, and I couldn't sleep. The rain was falling, and I was holding him, and I'll be back. It was a, it's a crazy day. I mean, don't don't kid yourself. The East Coast two weeks ago, they were dying from the heat. Global warming, global warming. Now the snow is coming. I said, we're, it's got rain out here. You're going to have two, uh, two weeks, you're going to have snow. No, no, no. Global warming, global, uh, global warming conferences. Meanwhile, on the West Coast, we got other... Uh, the garbage of the earth blocking bridges now. For Martin Luther King Jr. Day, they chain themselves to the Bay Bridge. Take a look at the picture if you want to. If you think I'm making this up, Black Liberation Queer Collective called protesters chained themselves to the SF Bay Bridge while people were trying to get over the bridge in and out of the city. Who gives them the right to do that? Who gives them, whether they are queer or not queer, the right to interrupt the flow of traffic. The answer is nobody but a sick, demented, broken society filled with grifters at the highest level who let them do it. In my day, they would have been dragged off by their hair and thrown into, into a jail for 30 days, and they would have been let to sit there. Sit there. Who gives you the right to block my bridge, to block my streets? Who gives you that right? Nobody. But you think you're empowered because of Obama, don't you? Suddenly you're empowered to chain yourself and block taxpayers from going where they want to go. You don't care if someone's giving birth. You don't care if someone's dying on the way to the hospital. All you care about is your black liberation, queer collective priorities. What are your priorities? What are you protesting? Tell me what they were protesting. They don't even know. They're just getting over on people. That's all. In Germany, you ready for this? Aging left-wing radicals suspected an armored car robbery. <laughs> the Bayer Manhoff gang is back. Seven in custody after fortune and purses stolen from Chanel store, Dallas Morning News. They drove a minivan into the store, and they stole these purses. Take a look at the pictures. Go ahead. Actual writer slammed Sean Penn interview saying he's worse than an entry-level journalist. Really? You're kidding. You think? I think that's true. Youths jumped couple at D.C. Metro Station in latest knockout-style beating. Anyway, I don't want to build up this thing with Teddy. I know some of you want to hear it. I'm not going to make it more than it is, but I did. I had tears last night from 3 to 4 because I already saw the, the hole in the ground. Look, everyone, it's the way of all flesh. It's aging in dogs. It's aging in birds. It's aging in reptiles. It's aging in man. We feel our own body aging, you know, as we hit, hit 40, let's say. At 30, you actually feel it. Yeah, certain things change in your body more at 30 than that. Just the most dramatic change for a person is around 30. And then at 40 already, you give up, most people. Except in Hollywood, where they get hair plugs and they eat the special diets from salamanders, embryonic fluid. And they think that they look young when they actually look worse than the men at Mar-a-Lago, who are 90 with skin masks on. I don't even know how they function. They look like they come from Jupiter. They all have 50-year-old wives who look like 90, but they think they look like they're 30 from the surgery. So the, the, Teddy has a heart murmur. Now he's got teeth that have to be removed. They can't give him anesthesia until they see if the murmur's not too bad. Then it's another problem. So a whole series now. X-rays, anesthesia. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE-SAVAGE. Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, the Savage Nation. 
Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place, such a lovely place. I remember the years this song was big. Spent a lot of them long afternoons in uh, various drinking establishments in San Francisco, writing uh, yet to be published. <laughs> They're still unpublished novellas and sort of short stories that I call The Dark Side of Michael Savage. Never published. I'm considering doing it while I'm still living, but I'm not sure. Or publishing it under a pseudonym. The good stuff. I looked at it recently. I had a type. But we're talking about bigger things than what I publish or don't publish, right? We're talking about little things, you know. Small things like the Inspector General of the United States of America saying that the Clinton emails had intelligence from the most secretive classified programs and that General Petraeus was prosecuted for far less than this. But that's not a big deal to Barry. That's not a big deal to Loretta Lynch. That's not a bi big deal to the Democrat Socialist Islamist Party of the United States of uh, what, wherever it is. Not of America, for sure. Topic number whatever is the ban in Britain thing, because it came up. They want to ban Donald Trump. And they uh, debated it yesterday, and they read a list of those banned. And it included me for things. They said things about me I didn't even say. They said it was said that he said. You hear this? This is how this is how far down the mud pile the laborites have gone. When they said what I said, they said it was said that he said, which I didn't say. Then one of the dummies from uh, uh, Scotland, who uh, I would like to ban him from San Francisco. He's such a, a low life. Actually, he's perfect when you think about it. His name is Gavin. In clip three, his accent is so bad that. Let's listen to clip three. This went on in the British Parliament. It horrifies me to think that in the 21st century, we're still dealing with issues of racism, sexism, bigotry, and any other form of prejudice that Donald J. Trump can squeeze into his campaign. Let's be clear, Donald Trump is an idiot. I've tried to find different, perhaps more parliamentary adjectives to describe Trump, but none were really clear enough. He's an idiot. Okay, he's an idiot. Such a he's a guy worth so about 12 cents. Stop, stop. Some uh, some low life descendant, some you know steel worker from the bottom of the pit. Who knows where he's from? All I know is that he, he's calling Donald Trump an idiot. It's worth twelve dollars. Then a Muslim socialist gets up and says that Trump should be banned. Tulip Tulip Sadiq of the Labour Party, of course, had this to say about Donald Trump in clip four. But this is not just any man that we're talking about. This is a man who is extremely high profile, involved in the American show business industry for years and years. A man who is interviewing for the most important job in the world. His words are not comical. His words are not funny. His words are poisonous. They risk inflaming tension between vulnerable communities. Ah, oh, shut up. And let me make You're not a one shut up, shut up, shut up. You're not a vulnerable community. That's a code word from the United States of America. You're not a vulnerable community. You're taking over England. The British are vulnerable to you. You've invaded Britain, and you're taking over Britain, and the Brits are the vulnerable community. You loudmouth you. But, okay, you know how I feel about it. They banned Martha Stewart, which is funny. I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. I'm in her company. I always liked Martha Stewart. I felt it was a ridiculous prosecution. It was vindictive. Why would they ban Martha Stewart? What threat does she pose to England? What, she's going to sew a curtain somewhere and threaten the domestic curtain industry? She's going to do a cooking show in England and destroy their cuisine shows? Like how to boil water and hard boil an egg? Unbelievable how dumb they become as a nation. But with, let's talk about bigger issues. Palin, now she comes out, she's going to endorse Donald Trump. He needs that like he needs a hole in the head, in my opinion. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm not for that. Palin had her time in the beginning. You know, we were a little iffy about it to begin with. A lot of you people liked her. I never, I never went for her. Let's not argue over who she is or she isn't. The issue is, will Palin help Trump by endorsing him or hurt him? My answer is hurt him. Why he's doing it is a matter of conjecture. Why Trump is reaching out to her is a matter of conjecture. She was going to endorse Cruz? Are you kidding me? And so now he wants her to endorse him. She's not a big kingmaker. You know, how many Inuits vote anyway? 
How many oil workers vote? She's not a big ticket item. Her endorsement means very little. But okay, this is what happens when you become a politician and you start listening to these professional advisors. You make mistakes. Will she endorse him? Hillary's most secret server. Snowstorm set for the Northeast. This is all on the Drudge Report. I'm giving him a plug. He needs it very badly. What else is in the news? I don't know what I want to talk about. I don't know. All of this already I've run through it. My hands are hurting from it already. I got pain in my left hand from it. Look, Hillary's most secret server is the story of the year. She should be indicted and investigated. End of story. They did it to betray us for less. She's not above the law. It's too bad if the Democrat Party loses her and then they have to fall back upon the spritzer. Okay? It's too bad. The law is the law is the law. They can't fall back on the, on the spritzer from the Lower East Side, from the gutters of New York. Oh, do I want to see that race in the worst way? For a couple of reasons. One, because I want to see, see the Spritzer's communist background exposed. I want to see him fall apart when Trump blasts him. He'll, he will cave. He will break down in tears on the stage when Trump rips into him. He will tear Bernie Sanders to the, to the little shreds that he already is. But anyway, if it was a, it was a campaign between Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, it would be the first real test of where America, where America's sentiments really are. Is it a nation that wants communism? Or does it want naked capitalism? My guess, 85-15 in Trump's favor. The spritzer goes back to Boca Raton and runs a nursing home. He becomes a balloon man in Century Village. He runs the, he runs the circuit, the uh, Century Village circuit in, in southern Florida, all the old age homes. And he does uh, exhibits with balloons, which he turns into funny animals and makes sounds as they squeak the balloons together. Him and his wife, they could do a team, a tag team. Could be like Bernie and his wife do the, uh, they have a big career forever. You know which they can make anything like that per night? Every performance? A hundred, a hundred and a quarter a night in the Century Village. And half the people are dead anyway. They don't even know they're there. That's all he's good for. But okay, he's running for the presidency. Why? A stooge for Hillary. Well, it backfired on the Democrat Socialist Islamist Party. It backfired because she is going to probably be indicted. I don't know what's going to happen. If the FBI doesn't get this indictment, they're liable to, there's liable to be a revolt in the FBI. There could be a, a revolution inside the FBI. Because they're going to say, what is the purpose of my job? If we find out that someone broke top secret laws and they're not prosecuting her, why am I even an FBI agent? What kind of country is this? We happen to know that's what's going on right now. 855-407-282. WFTL, Mike, you're on the Savage Nation. What's your point? What's the topic? Yeah, my topic is about uh, Hillary Clinton using uh, private uh, servers to transmit sensitive information, not just sensitive, but uh, special uh, uh, interest or uh, special access information, which is the highest classification you can get. Right. It's above top secret. It's above top secret. And she transmitted it on a private server, which means that foreign... Uh, and entities could have seen that those that information, putting uh, men at risk, men and women's lives at risk. So where are you coming from on this? That goes clearly against the UCMJ. Now, her uh, her position as Secretary of State gave her access uh, to um, kinds of military information. So I, I personally, I don't know uh, how the law is written, but uh, I think she should fall under the UCMJ. Because that clearly goes against that, and she could be prosecuted by JAG Corps. They wouldn't even need a special prosecutor. All right, thank you for your input. Actually, it's beyond that. She would not be violating the U.S. Uh, uh, code that you uh, mentioned. These documents are so sensitive that nobody in the State Department has the right to transmit them. The program says the programs can only be authorized by the president, the secretaries of state, defense, energy, and homeland security, the attorney general, and the director of national intelligence or the principal deputy of each. That's according to executive order 13526 called classified national security information. Now, she may try to weasel out of this, saying that she had rights to transmit special access programs on a private server because this, because of that. She has the best liars in America working for her, so I have no doubt that the liars that she hires from uh, the worst law schools in the United States of America, the people who have pillaged the nation in the courtrooms, will find a way out for her. That's what they're, that's what they're paid to do, is to pillage, cheat, and lie. 